Hi, I'm Amy Nolte. Welcome to Amy Nolte Music. I'm getting all uh, cozy with you today, and look at that, double. Because truth be known, it's a stormy day here in Southern California, and my lighting isn't great. But also, we're going to get up close and personal today about how to swing. So I just finished teaching this lesson on Skype, and it was a great lesson because it made, not that my lesson was great, but it made me think of some things that I've been wanting to say on my channel, and I think I know how to say them now. So I just taught, I just taught my new friend, Brandon, and I had Brandon play for me just a little bit, and he started playing a blues, and Brandon, love ya, but I'm gonna copy you for a second. All right, so when Brandon played his blues, it kind of sounded like this. like that. So I could tell right off the bat that Brandon has a good ear because he was picking good notes and I could tell that he wasn't playing something that he had memorized. He was just using his ear to come up with some good notes. But but Brandon wasn't swinging. So I've been wanting to make a video about how to swing and my hang up is that I really want to play you some recordings but a little thing to tell you is that sometimes when I play recordings on my YouTube videos, YouTube, you know, doesn't let me because of copyright issues. So I've got a couple of recordings that I'm going to try to recreate, I think, but I don't really want you to listen to me play them very much, except for when I try to prove a point. What I want you to do is I want you to go to your own device with your own good speakers and your own earbuds and play these real recordings. Now, the two recordings I'm going to talk about. One of them is April in Paris by the Count Basie Orchestra. Now, nobody swings harder than the Count Basie Orchestra. Nobody does. And if you listen to Count Basie play April in Paris, if you listen to his horn sections, just smooth over the melody of that song, you, you'll be in love like I am. I'm absolutely in love with that recording and it's so famous f and for such good reason. Now, one of the reasons that the Count Basie band swings so hard is because they can phrase like nobody's business. So they take a simple line like, April in Paris, like that but they don't just play it like that. They've got a bass line going. And it's April in Paris. And it swings so dang hard. You gotta, you gotta listen to it. I, if I could right now, I'd press play and I'd be like, do you hear what I'm talking about? So that's one of the things that they do. They phrase their melodies like nobody's business. Another thing that they did was that they had a guy named Freddie Green who played his guitar on quarter notes all the time. And we call that the chunk chunk style. Chunk, 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 like that on quarter notes. It makes their band sound so fat and swinging. I can't tell you how like dear that is to me. The fact that Freddie Green could play those quarter notes right in time and so fat and so full and with such precision and so much soul. It just made that band. I mean, there are other things that made that band too, but ah, it's just, it's the meat of it. So when I realized that in college, I was playing like Brandon. I was playing all stiff and square. I wasn't swinging. But when I realized that about the Count Basie band, it's silly what I did, but I'm going to tell you about it because it works. What I did was I just started listening to Count Basie and everybody who I thought swung really hard, Oscar Peterson's another, um, I would listen to the most swinging arrangements I could find and I just started saying chunk chunk all the time with them. So I would listen to whatever 
you know, a song that I just used in my lesson with Brandon was Sea Jam Blues. You guys know that one? It goes. Just like that, two notes. And when I listened to it, I was going chomp, 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 like that. Now, I tried to get Brandon to do that in his lesson, and Brandon sang like this. Chunk, 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 chunk. And by all means, like Brandon, he should have thought that he was right, but he was not right. Because when Freddie Green played those quarter notes, they rang. They rang right up until the next one. Chunk, 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 chunk. Just like that. With a slight accent on two and four. So now, and this is what I worked on in the lesson with Brandon. I had him just do this. I just had him go. of times and I'm not kidding you it was probably a good month or two of every time I listened to something that swang swung I would just sing chunk 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 along with it and I think that it was very important in my learning to swing because I know that I didn't swing before that everybody told me Amy you're doing great but you're not swinging yet and after I internalized chunk chunk and count Basie Oscar Peterson, I started to swing. And it's because I was feeling the quarter note in my soul. You got to feel the quarter note in your soul. So let's work on that for a second. You might think I'm very uncomfortable leaning down and talking to you like this, but I'm not. I kind of like it. So I want you to listen to April in Paris by the Count Basie Orchestra. And I want you to talk right along with Freddie Green playing Chunk Chunk, okay? I want you to chunk, 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 chunk. I want you to feel it with him. I also want you to listen to Sea Jam Blues. April in Paris by the Count Basie Orchestra and Sea Jam Blues, Oscar Peterson. It's off the Night Train album. So you're listening to Sea Jam Blues, Oscar Peterson swinging. And you're doing this. Chomp, 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 and you're not, you're not playing. You're just saying chunk. That's all you're doing. I kind of put off this video because I realize how ridiculous I sound telling you to walk around, drive around, sit in your home, lounge on your couch, saying the words chunk, chunk, chunk over and over and over again. I realize that that sounds a little bit loco, but I'm telling you anyway, because it's what I know. And it's what I know worked for me. All right, so you're listening, and you're not just saying the words chunk, chunk. You're trying to sound like Freddie Green, and you're feeling it deep in your soul. And you're really concentrating hard on the bass player. All right, Ray Brown. I mean, Ray Brown is feeling it in his soul. I want you locked in with Ray Brown. Chunk, 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 chunk. Okay, I think I've hammered that into the ground. You got it? Now, pianists. Everybody else, too. Mostly pianists, because you guys can do this. You can play a bass line, and you can play a melody. We're just going to do this with our left hand. It's one, two, three, five. C, D, E, G, C, D, E, G. And you're going to try to swing. Now, when Brandon tried to swing, Brandon did like this. And I said, okay, Brandon, you're not swinging yet. I said, to you, that probably sounds the exact same as what I did. But it's not the same. Could you guys hear? I don't know if you could hear. One thing Brandon was doing that messed him up was that he was using his thumb on this G note. He was kind of doing like this. Just the simple act of changing from thumb to index finger makes it so much nicer. You can give a lot more sensitivity. Now I like to hold my hand with a good curve in my wrist and play that first note extra long 
and then pull back just a little on the second note. And then pinky, all right? Now here's the other thing. Not only are you trying to hold that first note extra long and then get off of the second one without accenting it too much, that second note is gonna come a millisecond before the second beat. So those are our first two notes, right? C and D. Millisecond. Again. I'm holding the first one as long as I can. If you could just sit and do this for a good 10 minutes, you'd be leaps and bounds ahead of where I was as an 18 year old trying to learn to swing. Even if you play saxophone, even if you play trumpet, whatever, drums, singers, that's where it comes from. You've got to be able to hold your first quarter note, make it fat, and then get off your second note right before the second beat. minutes. Do it for 10 minutes. There. Almost at the same time. Okay. All I'm doing with my left hand is one, two, three, five. One, two, three, five. F. One, two, three, five. C. Two, three, five. One, two. Now F. Boom, boom. One, two, three, five. Boom. I'm just going to go to G. That makes it as easy as possible so that you don't really have to be thinking about your left hand. And just play that whole thing, okay? All right. So another thing I need you to do is listen to Oscar Peterson play C Jam Blues and say Chunk Chunk. I think I said that before. Other thing is I need you to just really, really lock in with Ray Brown and listen hard and then sing along with Oscar Peterson. Don't play along right away. I want you to sing along. And just sing along and try to match exactly. Because I guarantee you, if Brandon goes and does this for the week, Brandon's gonna come back and he's not gonna be going da 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 anymore. He's gonna be going da da just like Oscar Peterson. If he listens enough, you've got to listen a lot and you've got to sing along. And then after you sing along, you've got to quit singing along and listen again. Because sometimes people sing along and they get so wrapped up with, oh, my voice sounds beautiful singing along with Oscar Peterson that they forget to listen to Oscar Peterson and that ruins the whole thing. Please don't ruin the whole thing. So sing along for a little bit and then go back and listen to him and say, do I sound like him really? And then you can sing again. Always make sure to take the time to listen. Then sit down and play with him. Whatever your instrument is, play it. It's gonna do you a world of good and you're gonna start swinging hard. Here, here's, one, here's one more little tidbit and this is a recording I wish so much that I could play for you. One of the most swingingest recordings I've ever heard in my entire life is Nina Simone playing My Baby Just Cares For Me. Do you know this one? Baby Just Cares For Me. Even the title swings. Baby just cares for me, like that. You just put the emphasis on the quarter note and the title already is swinging. Baby just cares for me. Isn't that cool? While I'm thinking of it, there's another title that swings super hard. Just the words. It's, uh, it's from a Judy Garland movie. Meet me in St. Louis, I think? Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe. Do you know that one? You probably know, it's pretty old. But I just think it's magic how sometimes lyricists write lyrics that swing and you don't even have to try. Any bozo walking down the street who says Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe is gonna be swinging. That's genius. Okay, anyway, my baby just cares for me. I'm gonna, I'll play it for you a little bit. But this is what her band does. Her, she's got a bass player that's just going like this. Just like that, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, five, and she just does this on the piano. Just like that. And you add the drums. Just 
and it's the swingingest thing you'll ever hear in your life. And then she starts singing. My baby don't care for clothes. My baby don't care for clothes. My baby just cares for me. My baby don't care for cars and races. My baby don't care for high tone places. She has been swinging so dang hard up until that break that when that break happens, nobody plays a thing. The time just magically goes by and it swings just as hard as when they were all going. Just as hard because you can still hear it. Anyway, yes, I'm a little bit passionate about this recording by Nina Simone. Go listen to it. If you want to swing hard, listen to My Baby Just Cares For Me. I think it's just Baby, Baby Just Cares For Me, Nina Simone. Listen to Sea Jam Blues. Listen to April in Paris by the Count Basie Band. Sing chunk, 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 chunk until you're blue in the face. And you're on your way to swinging. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching Amy Nolte Music and getting up close and personal with me. And I'll see you next time.